Hi everyone, today's topic is protein structure and their functions. While you are listening, take notes and answer the following questions. Let's start. Proteins are a class of nutrients composed of amino acids, smaller molecules made of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen atoms. These atoms mix up in different patterns to make different amino acids. Some of them are essential because they cannot be made by the body and must be taken into diet. The rest of them can be made by the liver if all the necessary chemical components are available. The sequence of amino acids or primary structure of the protein is dictated by the nucleotide sequence of the gene coding for that particular protein. Adjacent amino acids in a polypeptide chain will form stable recurring arrangements based on steric constraints and weak interactions called the secondary structure. The most common of these are the alpha helix and beta sheet conformations. These segments of the protein then form a specific shape held by covalent bonds or weaker interactions between amino acids. Proteins often have molecular weights in the thousand to hundred thousands. Larger proteins might be made up of several polypeptides. The way the multiple subunits interact is called the quaternary structure. The tertiary structure isn't necessarily rigid and may change according to its surroundings. For example, the active site of an enzyme may have a specific shape under certain conditions that allow, allows it to bind to the substrate prior to reaction catalysis. A conformational change during catalysis resulting in a change in the active site shape or charge allows the reaction product to be released. Conditions such as high temperatures or certain chemicals can cause a protein to lose its tertiary structure and thus this function. In the case of enzymes, partial loss of function or a reduction in the rate of reaction due to less then ideal conditions will result in a reduced specific activity. Proteins vary in structure as well as function. They are constructed from a set of 20 amino acids and have distinct three-dimensional shapes. Protein functions According to their functions, proteins are divided into seven categories. Let's start with antibodies. Antibodies are specialized proteins involved in defending the body from antigens. One way antibodies destroy antigens is immobilizing them so that they can be destroyed by white blood cells. Contractile proteins. Contractile proteins are responsible for movement. Examples include actin and myosin. These proteins are involved in muscle construction and movement. Enzymes Enzymes are proteins that facilitate biochemical reactions. They are often referred to as catalysts because they speed up chemical reactions. Examples include the enzymes lactase and pepsin. Lactase breaks down the sugar lactose found in milk. Pepsin is a digestive enzyme that works in the stomach to break down proteins in food. Hormonal proteins Hormonal proteins are messenger proteins which help to coordinate certain bodily activities. Examples include insulin, oxytocin and somatotropin. Insulin regulates glucose metabolism by controlling the blood sugar concentration. Oxytocin stimulates constructions in females during childbirth. 
somatotropin is a growth hormone that stimulates protein production in muscle cells. Structural proteins. Structural proteins are fibrous and stringy and provide support. Examples include keratin, collagen, and elastin. Keratin protein protective covering such as hair, quills, feet, hairs, horns, and beaks. Collagens and elastin provide support for connective tissues such as tendons and ligaments. Storage proteins. Storage proteins store amino acids. Examples include ovalbumin and casein. Ovalbumin is found in egg whites and casein is a milk-based protein. And finally, transport proteins are carrier proteins which move molecules from one place to another around the body. Examples include hemoglobin and cytochrome. Hemoglobin transport oxygen through the blood. Cytochromes operate in the electron transport chain as electron carrier proteins. Today, we learned the structures and functions of proteins. Tomorrow, we will talk about lipids. See you next lesson.